guys, I'm Layla. So today we have a showcase for Marichka the Unbreakable. I'm so excited. She is a beautiful champ added to the game. Ukrainian inspired champ, if you guys did not know that. So this champ along with Teres are, you know, very, very important to raid. Now this showcase will be courtesy of Siegfried. I happened to pull her for him during the last 2X Void events. And he's been working hard to build her. Now, so guys, keep in mind, I know she's newer, not a lot of people have her, so we're gonna kind of be showing her off. She's not in any like crazy gear, like there's nothing insane going on here. Always room for improvement, and we're gonna be taking her to the Hydro to show her support abilities, right? And it's always important to remember, you know, I know everybody's at different levels in the game, just do the best you can as far as gearing and just trying to improve your champs and improve your comps as you go. So starting off with her, we're gonna see that he actually ended up putting her in a Defiant set, right? right? Which is defense and decreases damage taken from enemy AOE attacks. We are taking her into Hydra. All right. Now you guys started asking me to see piece by piece. So I'll show you that. So this is Defiant is two, two pieces per, uh, per set, right? So we do have HP and then we have some crit damage and speed. So again, remember she is a support champ, so she's not there for damage. Okay. Crit rate, we have resistance and speed and HP percent. We have HP percents, you know, we did get some accuracy in here too, crit damage. She has some crit damage, love, speed, and resistance. He has a resistance chest piece, crit rate accuracy. And then we do have a speed boot here with some accuracy. The accessories here are standard accessories. The banner is gonna be defense. So we did get a speed roll and then we do have some HP and then we do have some speed here as well too. So let's check out her stats. Almost 50,000 HP, so we're at 49, 1,700 attack, 3,500 on the defense, 193 on the speed. Again, like I said, we're going to have the crit rate, crit damage are going to be pretty low, which is fine. Resistance 262, 114 on the accuracy. Now for her skills, in case you guys are not familiar with Marichka, is United We Triumph. One random ally teams up and joins the attacks. This is gonna be on the A1, which is nice. Ally joining always uses the default. Now, like I said, Teras was the other Ukrainian-inspired champ. So if Teras is on the team, that's the one who's always going to join her. A2 is called Font of Tenacity, fully restores any allies decreased max HP, then heals all allies by 40% of this champion's max HP. Also does a shield and protect and strengthen. So you know what this also makes me think of too? Is this also makes me think of that she could be valuable in the Sand Devil Necropolis. If there's anybody that has her that's still running Sand Devil. I'm curious though, guys. You know, leave me some comments down below. Are you guys running Sand Devil at all? I think last I did a poll. Most people aren't. If anything, they're running Iron Twins, but a lot of people haven't really been running Sand Devil. Stash, you have Terrace on your alt and you're liking him? Yeah, these two champs are really good. They did a very, very good job with them. Nurtured Friendship is the A3, removes all debuffs, fills the turn meter, and increases resistance as well, too. She's insane almost every aspect of the game. User in Sand Devil? Yeah, well, that's what I'm thinking is particularly that skill seems like it'd be very beneficial in the Sand Devil. I just don't have her. Otherwise, that would be great. And then her passive is called Giving All. Revives all dead allies with 50% HP and turn meter whenever she is killed. Also, it's a place block damage for a turn whenever an ally receives bomb poison or HP burn, okay? And then her aura is ally speed in all battles by 24%. So she does have a very, very nice aura as well. We're gonna be running in Hydra and she's going to be in the lead. Iron Twins, yeah, so I would assume she's also really good in Iron Twins as well too. Now for her masteries, we have her down the defense and the support with him choosing resistance. You know, we're going unshakable is what he chose as her T6. So there we go, so Marichka. And guys, you know, I would love to know if anybody is watching and has her, drop me some comments down below on where you're running or how do you have her geared. Like I said, she is a void Lego, so she's hard to get, like her and Terrace. It feels like, I don't know you guys, you let me know what you think, but it seems like obviously like the void Legos are so difficult to get, at least to get good ones, right? So let's go runner and Hydra. All right guys, here we are. So we are gonna be hanging out in Hydra normal, I believe is where we're gonna be in Hydra normal. So we do have Marichka in lead for ally speed all battles by 24%. Raka, Geomancer, we do have Inquisitor Shamal, Walking Tomb Drang, and then we have White Through the Crown. Now, Siegfried told me that he was testing some of this out and 
Before adding Marichkin here, he said he barely was able to do the one key on the normal, which was at like 6.6 .6 mil, right? So he said since adding Marichka, it about doubled, where it was closer to 12. Because again, she's a support champ, right? So she's gonna have survivability and also give some survivability here. Not to mention again, remember her A1 has a bit of a, an ally attack with it as well too. So this gives us a little bit more damage too. So he says this should be full auto other than just targeting well, you know what? We got Geomancer, so we're probably not really going to be targeting heads in here. Yeah, so now he's saying it's way over double. And we do have some HP burn champs in here as well, too, which we really need for this. And there's our, there's our Marichka. But that's, so that's really encouraging to see is, you know, just getting some support champs in there. Again, increasing their survivability and survivability of everybody else in your team. Uh, so she actually could be the first one to be scooped up. She is. And I love Raka. She's such a cool one. She's just such a cool looking champ. Okay. So we'll see if we could go over double. But this will be nice too. I know there's still a lot of people that are maybe like in Hydra normal hard. So it's always, it's always fun to see this kind of stuff too. But I would love to know, guys, leave me some comments down below. What, I guess, what bosses, what dungeons do you run regularly? You know, like I, I know everybody does the typical Demon Lord clan boss, right? Are you guys still running the Hydra regularly? Are you doing, like I said, Sand Devil? Are you doing Iron Twins? Not necessarily, you know, like the, the other dungeons, like the typical dungeons. But what about like the newer stuff? What do you, what do you guys run in? Are you guys still running any of that? I'd love to know. All right, so we do have nine. We got nine cycles here before Marichka gets scooped up. I also wouldn't mind seeing what her abilities look like individually as well, because they did say when they when they announced her and they talked about Terrace and her being Ukrainian inspired, they did mention that some of her abilities were kind of like flame, like fire in some ways, which you could kind of see when she does attack. So we'll also check that out as well too, is we'll, we'll see what she looks like, her abilities look individually. Okay. All right, one cycle, she's about to get scooped. Boop, boop, boop. Walking Tomb Drang, <laughs> daddy daycare over here. <laughs> Let's see, you don't know, under, let me see. She's having the others attack more, yep. Well, again, her A1 has an ally join attack, right? So someone else is attacking more as well too, which also makes sense that we're gonna get more damage there as well. Okay, there we go, back. You do Sand Devil and Iron Twins. Hi, Cameron, what's going on? Let's see. You built a couple Hydra teams, and then you do Iron Twins. Hi, Woody. You guys just tuning in? We are playing around with Marichka today. So again, this is normal, meaning we only need 6-6. Six, six. But Siegfried has been able to more than double that with adding, with just the addition of Marichka. Hi, Grapefruit. Hi, guys. All right, it looks like Geomancer. That's gonna be a spicy dwarf, you guys. Spicy dwarf is the next one to get snacked. Why there's a pretty insane champ too. Talk about just like lots of, just trying to add survivability, right? Which is pretty insane as well. All right, he's down to two cycles. And we'll see who's gonna scoop him up. There we go. And that is a spicy dwarf going down. Do you guys ever see, you know, whenever I see Walking Tomb Drang here, I know he's got the he's got the body on his back on the uh, on the chair. Did you guys ever see his I guess announcement video on Facebook? It's so creepy, you guys. Like the the little body's like squirming and stuff. <laughs> they don't make it squirming game, but in the announcement it was. Well, look at that. Heads be popping. Heads be popping. All right, so we're at 4 mil. 
four mil. Raka looks like she's next. And so Raka is the reviver on this team too, guys. If you're not familiar with her. Yeah, we call him Daddy Daycare. I mean, every day is take your kiddo to work day. Hey, Kenpachi, thanks, man. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate the raid. How you doing? And hello, Ancient Go. How you be? How's everyone doing? All right, Rock Baby is the next one. Hi, Wolf. Hi, guys. If you're just tuning in, we are playing around with Marichka today. Marichka the Unbreakable. And another head be popping. There we go. Hope everyone's having a nice day. All right, five, three. So yeah, this team will do an easy one key now and then we'll just, we'll let it run and see where it ends up. What's up, how are you? Thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? I hope you're well, hope you're well. All right, Raka has been scooped up and we are just about at the one key. So remember we end up needing six, six, I believe. There we go. And that's the one key. Now, Siegfried was saying the last time he tested this, he ended up getting about 16 mil. So that was an additional 10 mil comparatively to where it had been before, which is nice. All right, Shamal is dropped, but we do have Miss Raka. So hopefully we pop him back up. Whenever she gets to it. <laughs> Whenever she gets to it, guys. Two cycles, and Marichka's gonna get scooped up again. <laughs> Come on, Hydra, don't be a bully. We already went after Marichka, leave her alone. Okay. Let's get her back. So we're at eight and a half mil. Mm hmm. Nee, nee, nee. Okay. Shamal is back up. No, she got eaten, you guys. That was not cool. Not cool. Marichka got eaten on her own showcase. <laughs> Marichka down! I repeat, Marichka down. <laughs> that wasn't very nice. Hi, open. All right, well, they're past the one key. <laughs> that actually would have been fun. That would have been funny if I did a prediction. We're doing this live on Switch, by the way, guys. Prediction for who gets eaten first. <laughs> man, you know, Marichka. Oh man, that is such a coincidence. I know, this is her showcase and she got eaten first. That's hilarious. <laughs> what are the chances, you guys? What are the chances? All right, Daddy Daycare is about to get scooped. Okay, let's go. Oh, hmm. We also got, we got the egg over here too. So we may not get him back. It's the end of the world as we know it. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. She's done her job. And he's gone too. Goodbye, daddy daycare. Daddy daycare is gone. That is two down. I repeat, that is two down. Next up is going to be Inquisitor Shamal. Shmuel to take a couple snoozes here. Oh, and Siegfried was saying that his Raka's in Relentless as well, too, in case you guys were wondering. Yeah, the run is pretty much done. Um, we'll see how much longer that they survive for. But yeah, we do have Marichka and Dreng are down. Wyther are doing a really good job, too, keeping everybody... Full on HP. She's doing a good job here. <laughs> All 
Okay, Shamal's about to get scooped. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, Twitch chat is saying it's always so satisfying seeing Hydra heads blow up. Well. Okay. Nice. We got the cleanse in. Who's going to be the last one standing? Shamal's about to drop. I mean, he's about to get eaten anyway. I would have guessed Wyther probably would have been the last one standing if she wasn't going to get snacked on next. So in that case, I don't know. It might be Raka. Hungry, hungry Hydra. Yep. So hungry, hungry hippos. It's hungry, hungry Hydra. All right, Wyther's about to be a snack. I would think she's she's probably tough going down, though. All right, what do we got? So is Raka going to be the last one standing? Potentially because Geo is the next snack. Or, I mean, we're going to have to see who's the last one standing here. Oh, we got Wyther back. How about that? I did not expect that, you guys. That's it. Wyther's down. Raka's down. Look at that. The dwarf was the last one standing. How typical for me. How typical for me. Nice. Well done. 12 mil. And yeah, as to be expected, Geomancer did the most amount of damage here at 5.3 mil. Marichka did one and a half mil healing. And look at that. Raka. Raka at 1.3. I won three. Mayhem, this was normal. This was normal difficulty. Normal difficulty. Good job, Siegfried. There we go. Very nice. So guys, what's exciting with this again is adding Marichka doubled his damage because he said beforehand he was barely one keying it. So now adding Marichka, yeah, was able to pretty much double the damage. So congratulations on that. All right, guys, we're going to keep it. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go take Miss Marichka into campaign, primarily just so we, we can see her animations, right? See how it looks. Here we go. Now, she's a support champ, guys, right? We're basically just looking at the glory for animations is basically what we're doing here. I'm assuming this is going to be some slow runs, <laughs> you know? We kind of have to depend on her food, right? We kind of have to depend on her food to do something. I like that though, that animation there. Was that flowers? Did you guys see that? It spins around. Flowers. Like that. All right, 30 seconds. Yeah, that's pretty. I like that. What is that? Is it like a fire phoenix or something? Do you guys see that? That fire animation there. Is it like a fire phoenix? I like that. Really nice. Really cool. I mean, guys, you gotta, you gotta hand it to Raid. Like, they just, they do such a good job with the animations. Siegfried, thank you so very, very much for the showcase for Marichka. Yeah, it's like a firebird of some sort, right? Appreciate it. Guys, leave me some comments down below. If you pulled Marichka, what are you, what are you doing? What are you rolling? You know, what do you have her geared in? I would love to know. And Siegfried, thank you so much. So we were able to play around with her and Hydra Normal. And as you get better geared, as things improve, I can't wait to see, you know, what other areas of the game you can put her in and how much better she does. But it was really encouraging to see just adding her in doubled your damage as was. Thank you so very much. And guys, thanks for watching.